Thank you for inviting me to speak today. My name is Chia Cheng Hai. I'm the head of Value Partners Group, an asset management company in Hong Kong. I'm honored to be invited as a guest speaker of the Chiang Hai Fortune Forum. And also, may I offer my sincere congratulations on the establishment of the Sun Chen Private Funds Association. Hong Kong, as we all know, is a world-class international financial center. Under one country, two systems, Hong Kong is very much a part of China, but is also allowed to develop its own way, its own systems in the financial services industry. Uh, in real life, what it means is that uh, Hong Kong is wide open to all the major financial players in the world, and they dominate uh, Hong Kong's financial industry. So it's very difficult for local Hong Kong brands like Value Partners to survive and become big. In fact, majority of local Hong Kong farm managers have either remained small or have not been able to survive for more than a few years. Because from day one, you had to compete with major international brands with no special protection, no special privileges, unlike many other countries which try to protect their local industry. Uh, so Value Partners has learned to be very competitive. We have learned to what it takes to survive and to prosper. And today, we are ready to contribute to the development of China's financial services industry. We have uh, learned many useful lessons, uh, technology, service standards, uh, the way of doing things. And we hope that we have our own contributions to make as China moves to develop an advanced financial services industry. So what are some of the key lessons we learned from our 27 years of establishing ourselves in this competitive jungle of Hong Kong? Uh, well, I can share with you uh, during this period, which included four major financial crises, uh, that it's very important to develop good corporate culture, a good set of values. Uh, in fact, anyone who joins Value Partners is required to uh, sign a promise call simply my promise, which is then printed and uh, stuck to their computer screen to remind them every day to keep the promise. The promise is very simple. Uh, it's based on the idea of putting your client interest first. Because if you're a fiduciary trust institution, you are a professional service provider, it's important to put the client interest ahead of your own interest. So this is a key part of the promise we make. Uh, we have maintained this promise now since the beginning, looking after clients, uh, being very honest, very straightforward, keeping company politics and office politics to a minimum. Uh, we also learned over the years to stick to a very consistent investment style. Do what you say you do. Don't keep changing your investment style. We also learned the importance of long-term investing and fundamental research. To this day, uh, our, our brand, our business model is based on the strong performance of our funds and the very consistent investment style we use. We now have uh, out of 200 staff, 80 people who are engaged in the investment analysis and investment management. They do roughly 6,500 company visits a year across East and Southeast Asia. So we are very proud of our strength in research. And uh, another lesson we have learned is that you need very strong support and operational infrastructure. So we are one of the few uh, independent Asian brands that have a fully integrated operation. Front office, middle office, back office, including operational support, etc. Uh, so we are able to provide a full service to our client, ranging from frontline asset management to uh, sales and marketing and client reporting, to compliance, uh, to uh, fund administration, IT, uh, the whole uh, setup required to do a complete service. This has been uh, very helpful. Uh, I think it's important in this context to remember that uh, China itself has quite a short history by world standards in uh, financial services. The Shanghai stock market only opened in 1990. 1990, the first company was listed after liberation in 1949. And uh, the Chinese asset management industry also has a quite a short history. The first asset management companies in China, uh, following the deregulation, 
only opened in the late 1990s. Despite its relatively short history, China's asset management industry is expected within a few years to become the second largest in the world, overtaking the UK and behind just the US. Chinese people up to now have a habit of putting the bulk of their savings an estimated 80 to 90 percent in properties and bank deposits. But this habit is changing. As people get more sophisticated, there will be more purchase of products offered by the fund management industry. In fact, the fund management industry's growth will also accelerate because of an aging population that requires investment professional services and, the, of course, the country's continuing healthy economic growth. For China, Value Partners has three strategies. First, we know that China welcomes long-term institutional investors like us who can contribute to an orderly and stable development of the domestic market. Uh, it is a fact that roughly 80% of the trading volume in Semchen and Shanghai is carried out by domestic retail investors who sometimes uh, adopt very short-term speculative strategies and this is not good for the long-term market development. So we have a role to play. Our second strategy is to attract more foreign investors to China. This is going to be a very big business because up to now, something like only 4% of China's domestic stocks are held by foreign investors. The market has been gradually opening and since 2018, and uh, we have the brand. As a listed company in Hong Kong, we have developed a good brand, good reputation, long-term track record, and we have a strong advantage in being able to attract foreign investors to use our funds to invest in China. This uh, strategy has very strong potential, and we can show some results very, very soon, I think. Thirdly, we are very excited by the uh, opening of the Greater Bay Area. Uh, the Greater Bay Area has a size larger than uh, Australia, is roughly the, the economy is roughly the size of Russia, and uh, it's a huge, huge opportunity. Uh, we are looking forward to Wealth Connect, which will allow funds from Hong Kong to be offered to the Guang Guangdong public, the people in Guangdong province, about 110 million people. And this may only, only be the beginning, as China uh, gradually experiment with various opening up and reform measures for its uh, capital account. Ladies and gentlemen, Last year, China's gross domestic product per capita crossed the US $10,000 mark for the first time. China has become an upper-income upper country with several hundred million middle-class consumers. It's really important that we develop a world-class asset management industry so that the country's surplus savings can be channeled to the best investments in a way that safeguards the best interests of the country and the people. We consider ourselves to be very lucky to be in the right place at the right time. There is a saying in the world's fund management industry that the most exciting opportunity in the next 10 years is China. Thank you.